These are the images left at LAPD's Van Nuys Station Friday night by dozens of people who officers say were there as part of a defund the police riot. A bunch of anarchists. Uh, they weren't there to do a peaceful protest. They were there basically to intimidate the police officers. Um, they intimidate bully and then what they usually do, they go into destruction mode. Craig Lally is the president of the Los Angeles Police Protective League, the Los Angeles Police Union. He says around 50 people surrounded the station, sprayed anti-police graffiti, threatened the lives of officers, and set an American flag on fire. They're just trying to up the ante, trying to get the officers to goat them into to doing something uh, uh, like getting a use of force and so whatever thing they can do like the black officers they call them turncoats. Lally tells us the people responsible for the vandalism and destruction here affiliated themselves with Black Lives Matter. But a spokesperson for BLM LA tells us the group has no association with them. Lally also points out that this type of behavior is being encouraged by an LA City Council member. These anarchists are coming from all over the country and basically because of people like Mike Monin, who's a city council member, encouraging these people to come. I remember he, about three weeks ago he put out a tweet encouraging the people in Portland to come here and do the same destruction here. In a statement about the incident, the LAPPL tweeted, If Angelinos want to see more of this mayhem, more of our city overtaken by criminals hell-bent on destroying our city, then keep electing politicians like Councilmember Mike Bonin. On behalf of Councilmember Bonin, his office sent us this statement. It is shocking that the police union is suggesting that a $2.7 billion budget is not enough for LAPD to prevent a police station from getting tagged. They can try to bully me by shooting ludicrous accusations in my direction all day long, but I am not going to support slashing virtually every other city service to pay for police raises. Lally tells us officers are doing the best they can daily despite incidents like this and a continuing effort to defund the police. Uh, they get frustrated. They get um, very frustrated the way, way the things are going right now. They don't feel as some of the politicians like Mike Bonin don't have their back. And that's the frustrating part. You know, we help put some of these people in office. Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.